So our first theme for this term is performance. I've come to the Festival Theatre, where some of us will be on Monday morning, and I'm going to make some charcoal and chalk studies of the theatre interior, partly in preparation for some of the other material that we can work with. Next week we'll be in the studio with our musician model, and so there'll be the possibility of putting together some figures from those studies with the work done here on the setting. Uh, so I'm beginning on some off-white paper, some sugar paper. I'm going to work with a thick stick of charcoal and put down some of these tonal shapes because actually it's quite dark in here. Uh, so I think it's a good a good idea to work with some of the simplified tonal shapes of the the seats and the boxes. And by using the side of the charcoal Nothing is too definite yet, and um, I might look with my eyes half closed, or perhaps I don't need to, because it's a, a, an a eyes half closed sort of place. I'm just going to do a series of drawings looking for some sort of uh, setting, as I say, for my musician, or... Um, series of drawings that will help me collect some of the sort of relevant material to do with performance. So it might be to do with the audience in these rows of seats. It might be to do with just the, the kind of general colour or, as I say, the, the sort of atmospheric lighting of the interior. So our performer um, may well want to be on a stage. These boxes have that terrific sort of theatrical <coughs> quality to them as they're like mini, mini theatres in themselves or mini stages with their curtains and their proscenium arch. So there's something in that, um, putting down first some tonal, tonal shapes to get something of the light and dark pattern of this atmospheric interior. And then I've moved over to a thinner stick of charcoal. So I haven't used the rubber at all, um, but I've moved over to a thinner stick of charcoal. And I'm just starting to bring out a little bit of definition on things like these rows of seats with their, their sort of curving arrangement. It can be quite tricky if you get too drawn into individuals. So that's why working with some of those tonal shapes is a good way in and out of that I might define something or I might leave things you know as you look further back along those rows things become harder to discern so I've worked with the charcoal and the thin, thinner and thicker sticks of charcoal there is actually a doorway there you can see no doubt um, and I'm just trying a little bit of chalk so I'll work with the chalk and maybe the eraser a bit as well. I've got some kind of pattern there for the architecture, but there are things I would like to bring out. Uh, I'd like to work more with the light, and some of these lights are very decorative. And I'm just going to see what, how much I can manage the light 
in the drawing. Some of the light reflects off the top of the seats. So I'm going to subtract a bit with the eraser and even try putting on some chalk. There's something we can work with here as well uh, with this, these materials would be to um, fix the drawing and maybe then get a little bit of colour and it's very much as I've said a well, I haven't said it's a very, very much a red interior. So there is a, already a sort of limited palette to the um, to the setting, which is very useful. So that's one view. Let's let's look in a different direction. So I was interested in this particular view. I'm around the side um, because there's a number of elements. Firstly, I can over here. I can work with a bit of the stage, the safety curtains down, but that's where this, the, that's where the stage is. And that could be a, a sort of lit point for my performer. Um, I've got the boxes and some of the, the pillars, but also down here, I love these lights, um, which are very characteristic of the theater, showing people their seat numbers. So this time I'm gonna work with um, some Oh, I thought that was colour. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's dark in here. And so I picked up a bit of charcoal. I meant to pick up a bit of uh, pastel. And I'm just going to put down some colour shapes this time. I'm going to get this stable. Right, I'm going to put down some colour shapes for the seats. So that's meant to be a brown but I'm sure I'll be pleased that it's a purple. So I've got some color shapes for the seats, a bit of the pillar, and I'm gonna get some red in for the walls. So my colors are much brighter than our real thing. I'm going to draw into them. I'm gonna draw tone into them and um, light and everything but I thought it'd be quite good to get down a few color shapes as a sort of introduction maybe I'll try the white on the stage this is this where I'm thinking the spotlight might fall And then I'll work into that now with a little bit more definition. So we've got our pillar dividing the drawing. And then our boxes. And the boxes almost hang over the edge of the stage. a little bit unstable here. So you can see that where I put those color shapes wasn't very precise and I wasn't too worried about that because I want to gradually define some of these areas. And by starting loosely like that, I think I've will probably get more interesting results. And I'll be able to actually ignore certain things. I won't have had time to, in, to observe everything and the things that haven't been carefully drawn out that I discover I don't need can therefore just be edited out of my drawing and thereby my, the whole drawing process becomes an editing process. So just by working in this way I'll be identifying things that I want to include, things that 
are going to be part of my subject and uh, just as I say almost accidentally eliminate things so I put in a bright red but it is as I've said a dark interior so I'm mixing a lot of charcoal with the red and the purple so that's all been pastel and charcoal and now I'll do a little bit with the eraser I'm going to introduce light and there are certain lights that I've described you know these they're sort of um, like runway lights or airline lights which I might want to use a bit of yellow on to bring them out with a bit of perspective as they recede down the pathway and I think generally I actually need to make things a lot darker because what I'm building up to is a lot more contrast on this stage because that's where I'm going to put my performer. So that's been a, a gradual evolving of the drawing and partly actually making things increasingly dark in order to bring out or to, to direct more attention to certain parts of the drawing. I've got a nice emergency light here as well. So this is a bit like um, Edward Hopper's scene of the cinema usherette side aisle. So I did a tiny bit more just to these seats and then I think I'm done with that one. Okay so um, some of us as I said will be here at the Festival Theatre on Monday and We'll be getting used to the low lighting conditions and just building up a collection of drawings that we might be able to combine with the drawings we do of the um, musician performer in the following week. And the third week we'll put everything together into an oil sketch. Okay.